Before we move on to the next video, we have to introduce two very important trade metrics. First is the reward to risk ratio. Probably a lot of traders are already familiar with the reward to risk ratio, but let's recap it because it's a very important metric in Edgewonk and for trading in general. So when we talk about the reward to risk ratio, what we do is that we measure the ratio at the time of the trade entry. And that means the reward to risk ratio is a potential performance metric. It doesn't say anything about the outcome. It just tells us about the trade potential. When you're about to enter the trade, you set your stop loss and you set your target. And the principles are very simple. So we look at the profit in terms of the risk of the trade. So we look at our entry and we look at our stop loss. This distance from the entry to the stop loss is our risk. And then we measure the reward. We measure the reward from the entry to the potential take profit. And then we see how many risk units is the reward. Let's actually calculate this and then it will be clearer. So to calculate the reward to risk ratio, we only need three price levels. We need the entry price, we need the stop loss price, and we need the take profit price. We kind of rounded the prices here to make the calculation more simple. First, we are calculating the risk portion of the trade. The risk is the entry minus the stop loss. And this will give us the distance between the entry and the stop loss price. So we have the entry price and we have the stop loss price. And if we subtract them, we'll get 11. So the distance in this case between the entry and the stop loss is 11 US dollar. Then we want to calculate the reward. The reward is the distance between the entry and the take profit. And if we subtract the two price levels, we get 23. So the distance between the entry and the take profit in this case is 23 US dollar. Now to get the reward risk ratio, it's very simple. We take the reward 23 and we divide it by the risk and then we get roughly two. So that means this trade has a reward to risk ratio of two. It means that when the trade is a winning trade, we realize twice as much compared to if the trade would be a losing trade. So the higher the reward to risk ratio, the more potential profits you'll get from a trade. Now let's take a look at the risk multiple. The risk multiple uses very similar principles and it's calculated in almost the same way. However, the difference is that we measure the risk multiple at the time of the trade exit. And therefore, the R multiple is a realized performance metric. Remember, the reward to risk ratio we measure at the time of the entry and the risk multiple we measure at the time of the trade exit. The calculation is super easy and the trade exit determines the risk multiple. So again, we have to first measure our risk portion. First, we need the distance between our entry and the stop loss. That is 1R. R stands for risk. And if the price will hit your stop loss, you have lost 1R. So the outcome would be negative 1R. If you exit your trade for a break-even outcome, which means that you exit the trade right at your entry price, you have not lost, you have not made anything. So the outcome is 0R. Assuming the price moves in your favor and you cut the trade here at this point, which is halfway towards your take profit target, and the take profit target is at two reward to risk ratio, you would have made 1R. So the outcome is plus 1R. Why plus 1R? Because the distance from the entry to this level is the same as the distance from the entry to your stop loss. And if the price keeps going and hits your take profit target, and the distance from the entry to your take profit target is twice as much as the initial risk of the trade, you made plus 2R. So the R multiple tells you how many risk multiples the trade yielded. Looking at your trades in terms of reward risk ratio and R multiple can be very beneficial because you can easily compare trades, even if the trades use different position size or you have trades across different broker accounts which have different account balances, comparing the trades in terms of account currency would not provide an accurate picture. But looking at the trades in terms of reward to risk ratio and R multiple is a neutral way of looking at trades and you can more easily compare trades. It's also a great way to express your performance. In Edgewonk, you can analyze pretty much all of your statistics in terms of R multiple. Starting here in the home tab, you can change the home tab to R multiple. Now you will get your net return in terms of a multiple, the average P&L as well, and also the profit calendar changes to show you your daily 
profit and loss in terms of our multiple. Also in the evaluation, all of the numbers are now in terms of our multiple. You can also go to your journal and then when you scroll right a little bit, you will see here the two columns. Our planned stands for reward to risk ratio. We want to make it sure that this is the planned reward to risk ratio, the one that exists at the entry of your trade. And then we also have the R multiple. So you can very nicely compare the two. Here, for example, we had a reward to risk ratio, R planned of two, and the risk multiple is one, which means at the trade entry, the trader projected a potential take profit at two times the risk, but he cut the trade short and he exited the trade halfway towards the take profit target. One thing to note in your journal is when you have R multiples that are smaller than minus one, here in this case, minus 1.74. This means that the trader did not close the trade at the stop loss, but the trader let the price run beyond the stop loss almost realizing a loss twice the size of the initial stop loss. This should generally be avoided because your initial stop loss is based on a sound plan, based on your trading principles usually and hopefully. And if you let the trade run beyond your stop loss, it shows that you have mismanaged the trade. Here you can see we have an R multiple of negative 0.7. This means that the price did not hit the full stop loss and the trader closed the trade before the price hit the stop loss. When we go to the equity graph, when you go to display, you can also take a look at your performance in terms of our multiple. And you can see the graph here now in terms of our multiple. We also have a chart in the chart lab. When you scroll down a little bit, it's called R distribution. This shows you the distribution of your trades in terms of R multiple. So when we hover over here, for example, on this trade, this gives you the interval between 1R and 1.5R. And it shows you that you have eight trades that have an R multiple somewhere between 1 and 1.5. So the R distribution very nicely visualizes your overall trading performance. You can easily spot outliers here and then you can drill down further into your trading journal. So here, for example, you can see we have one trade that falls into the interval between minus 4.5 and minus 4. This means that the trader let the price run significantly beyond the stop loss and you should investigate that. You can go to your journal Go to your basic filters. Here we have a reward to risk ratio filter. We also have an R multiple filter. And then you can very nicely drill down into your performance. So we choose the highest interval. And you can see we have two trades here. Let's scroll to the right. We have this trade that fell into the largest interval. And then we have another one that significantly exceeded the initial stop loss. So you can pull those up, analyze them and see what went wrong on those trades.